Ann McLean uh, Custer. She's running in New Hampshire's second district uh, in the Democratic primaries. Ann, welcome to the Young Turks. Hi, Jenk. Nice to meet you. It's Glad good. to be here. Thank you so much. It's good to have you here. Um, first, tell us what's happening in, in, in that district. Uh, who's stepping down, Democrat, Republican, and what the state of the primaries is? Sure. So it's an open House seat and an open U.S. Senate seat. Uh, the man you just mentioned, Senator Judd Gregg, is retiring after a long career. And our Democratic member of Congress in the 2nd District, Paul Hodes, who's serving in his second term, is stepping up to run unopposed uh, in the Democratic primary for the U.S. Senate seat. So we have a chance to pick up a confirmed 60th vote in the Senate for the Democrats here in New Hampshire. And then I'm running for Paul's open 2nd District seat in the House of Representatives. All right. And how many uh, Democrats in that primary? Um, I do have an opponent, uh, Katrina Sweat, who's run a few times before unsuccessfully, but I'm, I'm focused on my own campaign and, and moving forward. See, the, thing, the reason I ask, Anne, uh, is because, uh, you know, whenever it's a Democratic primary, I, I got to get a sense of who's on which side, right? And I saw sure. one thing about your opponent uh, that made me go, hmm, whose presidential campaign did she work on before? Uh, she was the national co-chair of the Joe Lieberman campaign. Hmm. But I'm very proud that groups like the Progressive Change Campaign Committee, NARAL, Emily List, and lots of others have checked out the two of us in this race, and all of those groups have decided to endorse me in the Democratic primary. Annie, if uh, the PCCC is with you and uh, Joe Lieberman is on the other side, you're in pretty good shape. So. Well, I've got to tell you, the PCCC endorsement was amazing. It came in Sunday night after the House voted on the health care bill. I'm uh, committed to the public insurance option and moving forward to uh, increase competition and bring down costs. I think the bill that was passed is a great start, but I want to go much further. So the PCCC um, put out their endorsement by email Sunday night, and I was completely blown away. We have had 3,200 contributions from donors across the country in um, <clears throat> about the first six hours we raised $30,000. And right now we are the number one um, campaign on Act the Blue, and I encourage all of you to go to Act Blue. It's Custer with a K, K-U-S-T-E-R for Congress.com. And um, so, uh, we welcome your support. The average contribution is $10 and from 3,200 donors. So uh, how many hours did it take to raise $30,000? It was just over 36 hours. It 36. was unbelievable. It was um, been a huge boost. And what it means is that our campaign can really have a robust grassroots um, uh, organization all across the state. I'm actually down in Nashua, the southern part of the state, tonight with our new grassroots uh, field director, Abby Bloom, and we're reaching out. We're starting next month. We are doing 30 house parties in 30 days all across the district. And, and already I have over 1,000 community leaders and grassroots activists that have signed on to the campaign, and they come from over 100 towns across the second district. You know, so my district goes all the way from Massachusetts on the southern border to Canada. Annie, it, it's it seems like this is changing the games, uh, the rule of the uh, rules of the game a little bit in politics. Because back in the day, when you went to go run in the second district of New Hampshire, um, you had to raise money uh, from, I guess, local support and however you could with advertising to reach out to those people, whether it's mailers or not, and uh, and. Honestly, you know, uh, corporate contributors, et cetera. Does this, how much does it change the game that you can get money from all across the country because a, a known, trusted, uh, you know, progressive group uh, backs your campaign? It's a fantastic new development, but I've got to say um, I am actually supported both in the state and outside the state. So as of today, we have raised more money in New Hampshire than any congressional campaign ever. Um, we are closing in on a, trying to reach our goal of $800,000 by March 31st, and we're well on our way to do that. We have over 1,500 donors inside New Hampshire, but it certainly helps a lot to have 3,200 donors all across the country. So 
The combination will be a lot like the Obama presidential campaign, where um, we'll have that grassroots support. We can, you know, I'm a big fan of campaign finance reform, but until we get that in the Congress, I plan to do this um, people-powered, right close to the ground, where $10 donors added up can make an enormous difference in this campaign. We're talking to Ann McLean Custer. Uh, it's, her website is custerforcongress.com. That's K-U-S-T-E-R. And, Annie, i got to ask you the same unanswerable question in my mind. Nonetheless, I'm going to ask it, that I always ask people who are running for office. How do we know you're for real? Because... Everybody tells us, oh, yeah, no, once I get in there, oh, public option, totally. Yeah, oh, no, I'm going to end the wars. Sure, sure, sure. And then when they do, when they get in there, they never do it. Well, here's the good news, Jen. I have not been in politics my whole life. I'm 53 years old, and this is my first campaign. What I've been is a community activist and an advocate for the people right here in New Hampshire. So I've cut ranks in uh, the nonprofit sector, working in social services, uh, for health care for, for all in New Hampshire, for access to higher education for middle families. Um, the kind of work that I've done, I'm an adoption attorney. Um, my mother had Alzheimer's, and we wrote a book together, and I went to nursing homes and senior centers talking about aging and Alzheimer's. So politics... Um, is coming late to me in my career, but it's because I care so much about the direction of the country. I've got two teenage boys, and I'm simply not willing to sacrifice their future to the mistakes of the Bush administration. Um, so I tell everybody at every single one of my house parties, I may only be there for two years. I'm a very candid person. I'm very direct. But um, to see me is to know me, and that's what you get. And I have... Nobody that I am responding to other than the people of the 2nd District of the State of New Hampshire. And at $10 a pop, I won't owe anybody anything. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And uh, All right, well, you uh, obviously con convinced the uh, Progressive Change Campaign Committee that you're one of the good guys, so that does mean something. So, uh, And I know uh, I'm not in favor of an opponent uh, that is... Uh, was the co-chair of Lieberman's campaign, so I'm going to wish you nothing but luck. Uh, thanks for joining us. Well, you're wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, don't forget, on the Republican side, we have a Newt Gingrich Republican trying to return Charlie Bass, who has a primary with the self-styled Sarah Palin of New Hampshire named Jennifer Horn. So it's a, it's a race that's going to be worth watching. It's an open seat. It's a swing seat. And I'm delighted to be on your show and reaching out to progressives all across the country. So go to Act Blue. You'll see us right at the top of the list. Right. Thanks so much, Jake. All right. Thank you, Annie.